Hello student. This is great 12 biology lesson. Prepared and presented by Mulatu Abarra. Student, welcome to today's lesson. I hope you remember, as we have seen Krebs cycle, what happened in Krebs cycle, the end product of Krebs cycle too. And again, as we have seen electron transport chain, chemosmosis, and the reaction that takes place during chemosmosis reaction again. Now it, we are going to see lesson nine, which is what is happen if there is no oxygen takes place. Under this lesson, we are going to see anaerobic respiration, alcoholic and lactic fermentation. A student, after the end of this lesson, you will be able to differentiate alcoholic and lactic fermentation. And again, we will find the end product of anaerobic pathway. A student, what do you think may be happen in the absence of oxygen? Well, if there is no oxygen present or availability of oxygen, the cell prefer to respire anaerobically. For example, during emergency activity, during short distance run process, and any other, the demand of cell for energy become increases. To fulfill this one, cell prefer to respire anaerobically. But if there is no oxygen, the final oxidative level phosphorylation, where electron can be passed from one carrier to another, and again, when proton can be passed from one another by their proton carrier molecule, and again, the link reaction, when pyruvate react with that of coenzyme A to form acetyl CoA, Krebs cycle, where acetyl CoA become react with that of oxalostate to form citrate, and else activity may not be takes place. The whole steps become halt, which I mean, there is no proton pump system. There is no action of ATP synthesis totally. So, the cell develop another technique, how they can generate their ATP or energy. If there is no Krebs cycle, if there is no link reaction, if there is no chemiosmos in the that of electron transport chain, the cell continue generation of energy anaerobically. Absence of oxygen to mean there is no generation of energy. But there is another technique how they can produce their ATP. The ATP produced under this pathway is substrate manner by substrate level. It may be alcoholic manner, it may be electric manner. The only thing is ATP can be produced under this one. The only step that can be continued in the absence of oxygen is glycolyte step. Remind the student, in our last lesson, we have seen that glycolyte can be continued both aerobically and anaerobically in the presence of oxygen and in absence of oxygen. In absence of oxygen, totally, it can continue in the cytoplasm of a cell, which is where there is a production of reduced not that can be continued under a glycolyzed pathway for sake of regeneration of hydrogen supplying for both oxidation and the reduction by itself. Earlier, if coenzyme become oxidized in one step, they can transfer to another step in reduced manner. But here, since the step can be only continue under glycolysis for oxidation and the reduction, it takes place in the cytoplasm. When one end of the nad become oxidized, when one end of the nad become oxidized, it is supplying proton for that of another end of the process, which I mean, when one end become reduced, this one become oxidized. 
So redox reaction takes place during glycolysis, even though there is no oxygen. Well, let's see this one. This is minorly to equate or to show you how glycolysis can be takes place under uh, uh, anaerobic pathway. Obviously, there is a glucose, which is common respiratory substrate for the cell to release energy, which is converted to that of two pyruvate molecule. Here, there is production of ATP by substrate level phosphorylation. There is ATP production. The only ATP produced during that of anaerobic pathways to minimum, which is about two ATP. During this one again, there is reduced NAD produced here. When one end of the NAD become oxidized, another end become going to reduced by having hydrogen here, by having hydrogen. So the hydrogen for that of both oxidation, that of reduction can be from that of NAD. By supplying hydrogen for that of, for both reduction and that of oxidation under glycolysis, in cytoplasma of the cell can be takes place. A one limitation of glycolysis in absence of oxygen is because there is minimum energy produced about 2 ATP, which is not sufficient enough to carry out a cell metabolism. But it is very rapid. Based on type of end product they produce, anaerobic pathway can be classified into two main types. As different organisms can be produced different end product when they ferment glucose anaerobically. The type of reaction can be named according to their product. Where the product generated from here is very important in many industrial applications. For example, in beverage making, in drink making, and again in another food making, very applicable. The product of anaerobic fermentation is very important in our industrial application. For example, Yeast cell, which is a microorganism, anaerobic pathway can be takes place in microorganism. Microorganism. Here, the end product that yeast end with when they ferment glucose is ethanol or alcohol. When they ferment glucose, which means glucose six carbon molecule, when they ferment here, there is ethanol. And again, there is two carbon dioxide, there is two ATP. Together, there is two NAD again. The end product of alcoholic fermentation or anaerobic fermentation in the yeast, when they ferment glucose anaerobically is ethanol and the two carbon dioxide. ATP and the that of NAD molecule. Accordingly, this type of reaction is said to be alcoholic fermentation because the end product obtained from here is alcohol. Well done. In animal set bulb, in animal set bulb, animal produce lactate, which is considered as lactic acid, when they ferment glucose. Upon fermentation of glucose, animal ends with lactic acid. There is no carbon dioxide here. Glucose, lactic acid, to ATP, to not P. As a result, this type of respiration is said to be lactic fermentation. Lactic fermentation in animal, where alcoholic fermentation in microorganism. The consequence of lactic fermentation during air exercise. During air exercise, energy demand for of the cell become increase. For example, if certain dog running with you to bite you. You are going to run away to escape from that dog. Because aerobic pathway is a slow process, it may not be provide an immediate energy for the activity. So the cell prefer to respire anaerobically to get an immediate energy for this emergency. So during exercise, since the energy demand 
for the cell become increase. Glucose must be fermented anaerobically to supply an extra energy demand for the cell. As, as the process, lactic acid may be accumulated in the muscle. After exercise become completed, after you are having a short distance race, or having another emergency that allow you to become run away, there may be accumulation of lactic acid in the muscle by being countered, which is too toxic to our muscle that brings to that of muscle cramp. So, the cell develops another strategy to remove this accumulated toxin in the muscle, which is they need extra oxygen, which is called oxygen depth. Which you mean? is an extra energy or an extra oxygen needed after an exercise sum up to break an accumulated lactate by converting it to that of the pyruvate which can continue glycolysis pathway in the liver. So they need oxygen to break this one. As a result of the shortage of oxygen, this is going to accumulate by having an extra oxygen, oxygen depth which is important to break this accumulated cramp, uh, accumulated lactic acid into that of pyruvate, which can come to start that of the original uh, uh, glycolysis by transporting into that of the liver. Good student. Commonly, both alcoholic fermentation in the yeast and the lactic fermentation in animal is end with fermenting of glucose. They use glucose as a common respiratory substrate. Additionally, this process produces two ATP and two reduced NAD per cycle. Two reduced NAD and the two ATP. Immediate energy, but not sufficient for carrying cell activity. To show this one, how it can be generated under the glycolysis pathway by having a hydrogen for that of both reduction that of oxidation. It is simply uh, explained. Let glucose and a starting molecule, it fermented anaerobically into two pyruvate molecules. In animal cell, this pyruvate become converted to that of lactate, which may be bring to that of uh, lactic acid and bring to that of muscle cramp. And again then, this is reduced NAD produced, there is ATP produced again, this become regenerates the original NAD. This become ox oxidized here, and this become reduced. This become oxidized again, this become going to reduce. The hydrogen for both oxidation to that of reduction become regenerate under glycolysis pathway inside of plasm. Additionally, in yeast cell, there is ATP production by substrate level phosphorylation from that of ADP, that of sardine organic phosphate. Then there is reduced NAD that can be provided a hydrogen for both oxidation, that of reduction, which can be regenerated under this one. Here, there is carbon dioxide, which is not present here. There is ethanol, the one that you call alcohol, and again, which can be regenerated to uh, start the original uh, anaerobic pathway under glycolysis again. So this one is a brief explanation of the diagram that indicate how lactic fermentation and alcoholic fermentation can be takes place. Be sure that what is the end product of lactic fermentation after they ferment glucose in animal cell? And again, what is the end product of la alcoholic fermentation? after they ferment this glucose in that of pyruvate and that of ethanol. A student, in this lesson, we have seen what is happening in the when does cell respire anaerobically. We have seen as there is no link reaction, as there is no Krebs cycle, as there is no electron transport, as there is no proton pump 
if there is no oxygen. The process can be takes place in cytoplasm or cytosol of the cell, which involves only glycolyzed stage, which need or produce NAD, which can provide a proton for both oxidation and reduction under glycolyzed pathway only. Different organisms can be produced different on the end product when they ferment glucose anaerobically. So we can name anaerobic pathway based on what type of end product they can be generated. Where the end product of anaerobic pathway is very important in so many industrial applications. This is all about the today's lesson. In our coming lesson, we will see how plants harness light energy. Until that, goodbye, students.